you know, I know uh, I wanted you to also talk a little bit about the flashbacks for this. And I know you're also working on a prequel series. So, you know, what, how do those two kind of maybe work hand in hand and they're, do they're that? Very, they're very far from each other. This is Medea's <laughs> fable about what happened with Rosa Parks is, is very <laughs> different from the Showtime thing we were thinking about with hiring an actual actress to play the role of Medea in the 70s and see what that story would be like. But no, it's totally different. And how are you prepared to hand over the reins to someone else after this for this prequel series? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Listen, I'm 52 years old. I'm looking at the exit here coming up soon. So <laughs> I'm totally able to hand it off. All right, Tyler Perry slash Medea fans. Well, this particular video, which I gave you a little snippet at the beginning of this video, and I'll leave a link to the full interview in the comment section below. Tyler Perry, you know, as as always said, you know what, hey, I'm really ready to let go of the character uh, of Medea, retire her, but, it, well, technically we're retiring the Medea that we know of as portrayed by Tyler Perry, handing over the wig and the fat suit to yet a, well, wait, now, does he wear a fat suit anymore? Because I know when, well, I don't know, but basically the outfit is being handed down to another actor or I believe a young actress will portray Mabel in the Mabel series. Tyler Perry made it known that he's ready to let go of the character, but at the same time, don't let the fact that we're getting a taste of Mabel in the Medea Homecoming film fool you from what the Mabel series is going to be. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like it's going to, uh, I think it was stated Mabel is supposed to be more of a drama slash dramedy series. So kind of like Bel Air, you have a, show that's known for being a sitcom which is turned into a drama series now but mabel is supposed to be a drama set in the 70s 70s a uh, 1970s and mabel is in her 20s so um yeah i do feel like this is probably Medea's last hurrah but you know last as in eh, tyler might dress you know gear up at one point in the near future but just the way he's been talking about the film, the reason he brought the character out of retirement to bring joy makes me appreciate the character even more. Don't get me wrong. I feel like this is definitely going to bring in some money, but at the same time, nah, I think Tyler did this for the people, you know, to give us some laughs because we sure as heck can use them and uh, we'll go on from there. But I'm just glad we got a little tease that, hey, coming from Tyler himself, the Mabel series is happening He's ready to hand over the reins, but given the fact that he's involved with the development and whatnot, I'm pretty sure that despite the fact that he's happy to retire the character of Medea, the Mabel series, he's going to make sure it's done right to do justice to the old woman who brought him such fame. So that's really all I got to say for this particular video. I've done at least four different Tyler Perry interview related topics today. And I'm pretty sure as the week goes on, there's going to be more and more and more to talk about. So, uh, like I said, if you want to watch the full interview, I left the full clip in the comment section below. But go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as well as the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. In case you miss out whenever I post content or you don't get notified, you may need to unsubscribe from the channel hit subscribe again and hit the bell icon so it would work. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.